Hey man, it's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest new on 2K in existence. And look, we got a ton of news that you have not seen, okay? New exclusive. Click, 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 click. NBA 2K25 demo info from the horse's mouth. Possible leaked parks, okay? Video footage. A bunch more info about the badges, the builder, Aiden Ross. Exposing 2K25. And how to save bread on 2K25, okay? You, you need to hear this, man. I'm trying to help you. More gameplay information, okay? Height caps for badges. Some incorrections that were in the courtside report being fixed. All the new build names. Ronnie 2K talking crazy. Direct confirmation of things you could do in the gameplay tester before you create your build. Very important. And before we get into everything, y'all make sure y'all subscribe if y'all are new. I'm going to keep you up to date. Give you all the best SIGs, best jump shots, best builds for 2K25. And get this video to 1,200 likes, man. No one will know. Don't be a hater. Hit the like button. So as y'all can see, man, right here. Look at this, right? This is in the My Career trailer. Okay, now, if y'all know, when, when you be doing your My Career, bro, they always be showing the city somewhat. So maybe this is the new city, first off. And then also, maybe those are the new parks and they looking kind of realistic. Maybe it's just a stretch. Maybe it's a stretch. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Maybe these are the new parks somewhat. You know, it's looking like the old town color scheme and then, you know, it look more real, you know, but who knows? Show y'all another angle. These, you know, why, why would it look like that? If those like are like parks, like if you actually look at it, why would it look like that? I don't, maybe I'm tripping. They look like they could be courts. Now, secondly, man, we got some huge news, some very W news. Y'all know I'm very critical of 2K, right? You know, I'm the realest. Hey, we do not be double twisting, trying to max out our ball handling badges. And look, this might be like the biggest W in like 2K history for the majority. I mean, for them to give us this, man, they must have felt that pressure. You know, they see the unhappiness within the community. But look, and we choose our jump shot in the build tester. OK, like they said things around this, but it wasn't direct. This is direct in the build tester. You are presented with the screen that is much like the gameplay animations menu in my career. You can create a jumper, create a dunk style and swap animations in and out for every gameplay category we have then you can test so you can test your moves in the freestyle 3v3 or 5v5 if y'all know the past years you just go in there and they would give you random animations you wouldn't even know what they really are unless you are you know sweaty what you do here however is temporary it's simple to test drive what your player could be capable of that is a huge w we've been asking for this hella years bro you can find animations you like you ain't got to do the try hard method to where you make your my player and test all the sims and all that and they say you could favorite them and they'll show up at the top of your list when you enter my career this is a w y'all let me know how y'all feel about that each takeover has its own requirements to unlock you can't have a 53 ball slash mid-range and qualify for shooting takeover takeovers will have to be you know with your build strengths so if y'all didn't know it's basically been, been confirmed that you can make a way more well-rounded build now a more do-it-all build in 25 compared to 24 but when you go for the legend badges, it makes your build more restrictive. Here's some badges that got combined, you know, just like I was telling y'all, since they knocked down all them badges, they combined some blinders and dead eye fast twitch got moved into paint Pro prodigy. Mm. Now more details with the max plus one. Okay. And some warnings that you might not be hearing from other people you could boost one badge level above its max potential. Oh, max potential gold you push it to hall of fame you must progress a badge to its max potential before equipping this perk these are unlocked at level 15 for your tier 2 badge so then in the season reward so this might bait y'all to buying the pass more right don't guys just play the game man when you look back it's not worth it bro i'm telling you bro it's not worth it and then for the tier one badge level 30 then you get to transcend the badge in each season now could i could be wrong i could have said something wrong but this is my understanding of it you look at the end of the season it reverts guys don't do it bro i know y'all got spare money look look guys listen this is so important <laughs> Look, I'm telling you, bro, you're creating your future. You can't know your, your future without knowing your past. Look, I'm going to show y'all something, right? Look at this. They just added buying levels in cut. Okay, this is NCAA. Guys, think. 
bro. 2K sets the standard. They are the trendsetters for all games. It's successful. Other games will cop. That means you're creating your whole gaming reality just because you want to do something on 2K. I'm trying to help. <laughs> y'all might, y'all not, y'all not thinking about it, bro. I'm telling you, it's gonna get crazy. It's already crazy outside. I'm telling you, they, they, they trying to get you, dog. Like to just, just try, not, try not to. I know you want, you gonna buy your bills, all this and that, but for the, the trivial stuff, don't do it. Fight back. Shame everybody. Y'all see me buying the season pass and stuff. And that, that's all I got for you, man. With the badge elevators, this is just for if you lazy, right? So you could permanently boost an individual badge up to three levels within its max potential. Now look, these are in season. Again, encouraging you to buy it. Guys, don't do it. Don't do it. Now more detail on the cap breakers and warnings, okay? Now these cap breakers, right? I want to show y'all some. This is basically what they mean, okay? Now see this right so you know when you go make your build your height weight wingspan it shows you the max of everything but when you go make your build you can't get all these damn attributes you you can't make your build like this the 99 and have it all you can't do that right you got certain amount of attributes you can use but they're just showing you your potential so with these cap breakers you can only go up based on the potential of what's shown here with your particular build based off these three things right that makes sense to you and also with these cap breakers this is the next step to uh them getting a lot of money it's gonna be very confusing especially for the robots it's gonna encourage a lot of people to make so many builds over and over and over and over and over and over and over again right especially with the addition of the legend badges youtuber is going to be going crazy with it you're going to be going crazy with it then you're going to see what other people do and you're going to try to do the same thing and then and you're going to think you messed up your build da, 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 da. there's going to be so many new variables and variations so it's it's a setup for most people but it's also a good thing because people have been asking for it you know you put on your arm sleeve now it's going to unlock animations and it's going to make the game more interesting and all this and that but i'm just telling you don't get over baited dog you know you're going to see a lot of different things you're going to be baited a lot stronger it's going to be a lot of pressure just be be smarter man I'm telling you it's going to get you bro just try to be wise when you make your builds and stuff especially if you ain't got no bread hey, look badges takeovers animations your new ratings max of five cap breakers onto a single attribute now we don't know how easy or how hard it is to get cat breakers i'm pretty sure so far so yeah see if you decide to go legend badges you're gonna suffer you're gonna be more one way like the traditional meta builds i recommend before y'all even make y'all builds if you play with randoms don't be going for the legend badges y'all make a more well-rounded build so you can have a better experience now if you get to play with other people usually then that's when you start going for the legend badges and since you have a team they can cover up your weaknesses that's how you make your builds on 2k okay there's no reason to shame either side but when you have a team you don't need defense as a pg for instance you know you got other people that could play the d for you and cover you up and stuff most le legend badges in 2k25 will be gated between 97 through 99 okay. this guy responds with this fufu image i don't know why a guy is putting this i don't know it's kind of sus mike wang says yep finally got my account back if y'all know he got hacked be careful man a mike wang came back to twitter he asking we'd be able to get ankle breakers without take -off. mike wang says you'll have a small chance to drop defenders with high levels of ankle assassins small chance <laughs> Ooh, frequency cranks up considerably with takeover hopefully man. people don't understand this whole video game bro it is a video game ankle breakers for years have created a lot of fun gameplay man i think too many y'all be uh having too much hate and envy man y'all don't y'all don't understand man have fun guys there, there's ways to avoid Avoid the ankle breaker you move out the range you get on the side you press very simple guys you just don't stand there <laughs> stamina affects everything leak, 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 leak. <laughs> team takeover is gone now it's team chemistry sis good help it seems like the same thing it's talking about some height caps for the badges shifty shooter max is at 611 610 can get 98 ball handle damn that's kind of crazy the 610 point forwards are back y'all remember them it's a realistic thing yo. you know when they come on the game you don't want that realism though y'all don't want that realism pick and choose we know what you really want 
We know what you really want. You want a casual, slow and clunky game. Then he's saying the max height cap for ankle assassin is 6'10", but you can't get legend at 6'10". 6'2 is max height for legend. And we gotta be 6'2 for legend? Damn. So the little home is gonna be breaking people. Mm, they trying to bring back the small guards, man. I'm gonna go more into that later. I don't know what he deleted though. So all legend badges have at least one attribute requirement that is in the 90s. Most are 90s. 97, 98, 99, very high. The lowest is strong handle, which requires a 93 strength. You gotta have 80 ball handle at least. So they're gonna tie that in to try to make sure y'all don't make something too crazy. Confirmation that builds are better in 2K25 than uh 24. And again, guys, y'all that be falling for the builder genjutsu. It's all about game. They can easily make a 83 ball as effective as a 99 three ball in some past 2K. It's all how the game plays balance. A lot of people don't understand. You have a Hall of Fame badge that's as effective as a silver badge from back in the day. It's all gameplay bound. That's what really creates the build. People don't really understand that. I don't know why. Hey, you could apply cap breakers to any new or old save. This is kind of confusing. Permanent for that save. Now, when you apply these cap breakers, you can actually change your archetype name. You're given the option. Okay, this is cool. You keep your current or grab a new one. Cool part about the ones is they may end up being names that just aren't possible in the builders. But I know they're going to be leaking some uh, possibilities to certain uh, creators. <laughs> What's the scale in between the badge levels? They say in Legend from Hall of Fame is larger and lower compared to like bronze to gold, gold to Hall of Fame. We gonna really see, we gonna see what's up. I'm gonna let y'all know the truth with every particular badge. They saying they reasonings for when you pick higher attribute stuff, it increases your overall faster because the badges are apparently much more power. We gonna see. Don't take everything they saying as gospel, y'all. This is just the market, you know? Anything can sound like anything. When you play it, you gonna see. So. If y'all didn't know, you have to unlock your takeover levels based off how many games you play. And my career counts, but not the drills or none of that. But something was corrected. They said 30 games. It's actually 15 games. He's saying here it says courtside was incorrect. Tallest you could be for Hall of Fame Deadeye and Lethal Deadeye. Lethal Deadeye. I guess he mean Legend Deadeye. My tripping. But uh, six eight for Hall of Fame Deadeye. And then for the red, gotta be six six. So max speed of a seven foot player is 65. I don't know why you want to know that. So here are the height caps for each position and the minimum height caps. So 5'9 to 6'7. Oh, damn. No more 5'7s. Look, shooting guard, 6'8 six to 6'8. Six Small forward, 6'4 six to 6'10. It used to be 6'5. Power forward, 6'5 to 7 foot. Bro, why? Bro, I know uh, there probably was some. Didn't they say like Charles Barkett was low key around that size? Bro. That low key make him go there. I, I ain't gonna hold you. It don't discriminate back in the day people, man. Cause y'all already seen what Russ did with y'all hating that. But uh, bro, this is gonna like mess up some wreck lineups and stuff. Cause people, they're just NPCs. If you make a 6'5 power forward, I'm flaming you. J just like the guy played in the wreck, you made a 5'7 PG, even though you played decent, flaming you. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Get tighten up, man. Look at, look at the center. 6'7 to 7'3. Was it ever like this? What in the 6'7? Am I tripping? I just want my stretch four name back. It's in there. <laughs> hey, look, D saying, oh, we listening, you know, because he's celebrating that. You can look at your animations and stuff before. Here's the takeover. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. It seemed, it seemed cool, different. Look, here's some big news. Look, I be telling y'all, they be casual. They love the game. Only comp players hate the game. I be telling y'all, the casual flame in this bit, right? The people on the Twitter are not good at the game. They're not comp. They're not nothing. They are horrible. Most of them, negative win percents. I be telling y'all, people are very unhappy with the gameplay, the state of the game, everything. Now look, this is a poll. And it, during the news cycle, you know what? People going to get genjutsu, right? Look at this. Negative. Like, I've been posting polls to show y'all how people really feel. I've been in the field, dog. You know, I post viral stuff. I look at other people's viral stuff. The comments is always straight negativity, bro. You feel me? Like, the people who really be loving these newer 2Ks, it is a minority. It is not the, you know? I'm just, that's why I be like, hey, clearly y'all need to go in a different direction with the gameplay because they not messing with it. They missed the old. And those games were more realistic. And you won't debate it live. <laughs> 
So look, this is after news. All the news, it, it sound, most of it sounds good. And they still went with this. I went with this because the gameplay looks horrendous. All the gameplay I've seen looks horrendous. I'm a gameplay expert. The only one with the 2K Bible with the direct translated scripture, okay? And the gameplay is not looking pretty good but most people probably can't see what I can see. That's just based off what they show. Now this guy's talking about the demo, right? I respect y'all wanting a demo, but you get early access if you pre-order, can't beat that. Now look, he says truth. We did decide to give you the entire game a couple days early this year. Ronnie, that's because you saw low pre-order sale. That's why. We we can tell from 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 my my assumption. We could tell that y'all saw the low pre-order sales and then you did that because y'all would put the early access with certain versions, not just every version. Look, here's some more demo news. Would have been a million times better if we got a demo. Don't believe we have released a demo even two weeks before launch in my 16 years, let alone four weeks. You already know that. So he's confirming no demo. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about that. Look, we got some more info, right? Young Vlad saying, it's all the my team people that are angry. Look, he's saying my team will have its time and glory soon. Cause that mean the, uh, what y'all call it? The market back, whatever, whatever. Uh, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> Leak. <laughs> I don't know. Ronnie's excited about the part. Don't see. Now look, Germ post something comparing live to 2K25. Look, this is not a good thing guys. Okay. There's a reason he's doing this, right? I've been telling y'all. They've been trying to copy live a game that could not compete with 2K. It's not smart. <laughs> That's why people have fell out of love with 2K. It's real hard to find teammates that are um, decent at the game and just aren't just happy to be here and play a basketball game because they remember what was, right? When you remember what was, it can really mess up your reality. And uh, it's like, damn, bro, what did they do to what I love? It's like, say you fall in love with a beautiful woman. She just changed on you. To most people's standards, she's still a good woman, but she just switched and just, it's just such a downgrade now, you know? It really can mess up your mental health. So it's like, say you rich millionaire, and you become broke, but you still got way more money than 80% of the world. It's gonna mess with your mental, dog, real bad. As you can see, like the speed boosting is, uh, you know, this is just a little short clip. Just basing off the clip, man. Just based off what people see. New archetype build names. Lick, 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 lick. Over a hundred new possible archetype names. Hopefully, like the old days, you could really tell what a build is. And there's not a lot of catfishing with it. I'm sure there's going to be some, but I don't know. Hopefully, there's some cool names. But he says, uh, Rim Attacker, Small Ball 4, Swiss Army Knife. That's kind of cool. And Junkyard Guard. These is cool. Usually, to get cool names like this, your build has to be horrible. <laughs> Guys, I recommend not to do that. I know y'all want to be different so bad, but it's not worth it. It, bro hopefully they're cool like they're actually decent there's only two tiers now instead of four like there was in uh 2k24 y'all let me know how y'all feel about that here's aiden's reaction to the uh nba 2k25 gameplay gameplay looks smooth on this chat what y'all think or is it too early to tell man it's too early. He, he don't even believe it you, you could tell by his expression when someone says smooth and stuff they're cap i'm just letting you know that's cap and they probably you know they're just talking bro we'll have a 99 stamina rating in the build tester okay cap breakers show up in the 2k card okay pick your team in my career and there's a screen that shows your role minutes rotation how hard of a challenge for starter y'all let me know if y'all my career heads like that get to y'all a little story and stuff hey man y'all go check my last video click the video on the screen or go watch me flame some uh 2k devs that was hating on go check my videos man if you want to laugh click the video on the screen now but hey hey here we go again yeah. here, here we go again people talking this but when this hit the fan everything i'm that made me now break it down yo off the top of the dome dome